Hi guys, this is Shivariti. In this session, I am going to explain what is version control system. Version control system is a system which keep track of the changes what is happening to the changes happening to the files. For example, whenever you are working with a web development project, if you want to keep a track of what are the changes you have done for the files, so you need to maintain a list of copies of those files so that later point of time if there is some problem with the newer version of whatever the changes then you can go back to the older files and you can replace them so that is the one of the advantage of version control system so in order to maintain the version control system the software industry come across a few um, designs of the different type of version control system the first one is we call as a local version control system during this local version control system, the developer ideally what he is going to do is he is going to maintain a files in his local computer and whenever he change the each file, then he is going to mark that one with a particular version. And next time when he is again modifying the same file, then he is going to mark that one with the different version. So that if there is any problem with the version 2, again he can go back and see what are the changes with the version 1 and he can replace those files. The advantage of this one is, um, user can, uh, the developer can keep maintaining whatever the changes is happening for the files. And the disadvantage of this approach is, is if developer uh, by mistake while giving the version, if he given a wrong version or while keeping these files, if if it is in a different folder then there is a chance of missing the data and second one is as this is maintaining in the local local computer there is no security happening for that and also something happened to the computer and if it crashes then it is very difficult to retrieve this data also and also when you are working with the distributed development that means when we are working with a large project or uh, development project then it is very difficult to in, uh, collaborate with the, all the other developers because other developers does not have any idea how you what are the changes you are doing for the files so these are the few disadvantages of the local version control system that is the reason the industry move to different approach that we will call is central version control system so during the central control version system what happens is the whole code or the, the code repo, uh, the code will be in the central repository server that we will call as a central version control system server this maintains the all the versions of the your project and then the developers who want to who are working on this project they need to connect at this uh, server and they need to check out the code to their local computers for example here computer one is the one developer is working on the computer one then he need to check out the what are the files he want to and he need to work on it and similarly the second developer who is working on the computer two he needs to check out the code for those files and then he need to work on this one so the advantage of this uh, um, central version control system is the first thing is the everything will be placed in the server and this server will have a more security and um, it, it needs to be um, it needs to be uh, integrated with the high security policy and second one is as this is a control uh, centralized server other developers can know that what is the what are what are the files actually particular developer is working on it and next one is if you want to um, the uh, now if you talk about the disadvantages the disadvantage still this central server uh, will be maintained the all the code now for, for example if this central server goes down then other developers cannot do any anything over that and also if something happened to the central repository server and if it is crashes the server then it is very difficult to get or to re, uh, to recovery the data from the central repository server as the computer which are the computer or the developer who are working with this central version does not have the all the code whatever it is in the central repository server and uh, one more thing is so the central repository or central version control system server will have the uh, will be maintained by the admin where 
all the access for these developers can be controlled by the admin that means which are the developers they want to have a read write and uh, delete permissions that can be controlled by the central um, server administrator and uh, the still there is a disadvantage of the, uh, disadvantage of the central version control system is if something goes with the something goes wrong with the server then it will be impacting for the other developers as well that is the reason now the industry is moved to the another approach it is called as a distributed version control system during the distributed version control system what happens is the main server will have the all the versions of the files uh, that is called as a pro the related to the project and the client or the developer who want to work with this distributed version control system first they need to clone the complete code of the server to their local here computer for example developer one is working on the computer one then what he needs to do is he need to clone the complete code from the server it is not for the particular file but he has to clone the complete code from the server to his local machine and then he can work on like a he is like an independent machine he can work on similarly developer 2 who is working on the computer 2 this be, this developer is also take the complete code from the server and this this developer can also work independently now if you want to do any operations the first thing is there is no need of network connectivity once you clone the complete code to the your computer once whatever the changes you want to do you can do on your local and once you feel that you are complete with your te testing and all the changes then you can push back this to the main repository and similarly the developer who is working on the computer too also he can do his own um, code changes and later he can directly push it to the server for example the, ser the server goes or crashes then the computer one or the computer two is already have the complete um, cloning of the main server still you can you can go ahead and recover the data from the other computers so this is the one of the advantage of the distributed control version control system and also it is going to allow you parallelly that means a parallel development process or the linear development process it is support that means uh, like a thousand members also if you are working on the project every computer will have the clone of the server and uh, there they can do whatever the operation they want to do and once they completed they can go ahead and merge to the main server and also distributed version control system or one of the example for the distributed version control system is the git this git will provide the strong features for the sort uh, for searching merging and also uh, if you want to access or you want to commit the operations will be very fast uh, when compared to the central repository server and we will see those features in the later tutorial so hope you are clear with the version control system if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching have a nice day